Okay, awesome. So welcome everybody. We are working today with our hips. We're going to be doing some hip openers, some some loving on the hips, um, and learning a little bit about that region um, since we're going through um, basic anatomy. Um, and just so I'll give you some tidbits about that. Hey, Olivia, welcome. And I think two blocks would be helpful if you have them. If not, you know, water bottles usually always always help. And uh, we'll get started. All right. So um, you can start however you'd like. I'm going to start in a seated position in Sukhasana. So I'll cue to that. So if you'd like to start there with me, we can head there now. All right. Finding a seat. A few moments of quiet for yourself to ground in. We become very aware of our breath. He inhales and exhales. We feel it travel through our body. We feel, we feel it fill up our whole body. And to bring us together as one, we'll take a, an open mouth breath together. When you're ready, breathe in and breathe out. Again, emptying everything out, breathe in and breathe out. Beautiful, now breath in through our nose and out through our nose, breathe in, breathe out. Continue with that breath, your ujjayi breath, with your lips sealed, making it just one channel of breath in and out, bringing more focus to the here and now. And from this position, we can begin to welcome small movements side to side, keeping our eyes closed. So we just kind of sway with what we're feeling. And maybe front to back as well, moving around and getting into our body. Also bringing an intention to mind. We've been working with breaking negative cycles. And today our intention will be to celebrate any small movements or big movements that we took to break negative cycles. We'll come to a still Sukhasana and take some neck movements here. So let's drop our ear, our right ear off to our right shoulder. And just feel that stretch along the left side of your neck. Maybe you wanna take your hand and gently pull a little more towards the right. One more breath. And we'll go to the other side gently. Nice. We've also this month been celebrating our body by getting to know it, learning the different regions. So you can release. We'll take a little tiny twist to the right, bringing your right hand back. And then the left hand to your knee, lifting up through your chest. And 
And then going to the other side, and to the center. And we notice here in our body awareness goal, we notice our pelvis, we notice our hip region. Just being aware of it. We'll come back through center and take some seated cat cows. If you prefer a uh, tabletop cat cows, you can take those now. Seated cat cows will inhale, lift our heart forward as our shoulders go back. Exhale, press. Belly button back, chin pulls in. And again, lifting up, inhale. And exhale. Beautiful. As we're seated here, our pelvis is transferring the weight to support our upper body as we sit. It's also the attachment point for our torso and our lower limbs. So it's a real connector in that way. And it's complex. There's a lot going on. All right, take a few more cat cows. We'll be going a little to the sides as well. We'll begin moving towards a tabletop position before heading into downward facing dog. If you want to take any movements from tabletop position, you can do that as well. The tabletop just being a starting point. And then perhaps before moving into down dog, you come to a high plank to get the uh, spacing and then send your hips up high. The high plank helps you find the right length for your feet and the hands. Nice and you're down dog. We pedal through, bending into our knees, beginning or continuing to match the breath with the movement finding your own rhythm for your breath. Feeling length from your fingertips all the way up along the side of your body to your hip. And then from your hip down to your heels. Awesome. As you're ready, we'll walk our hands back to a ragdoll position. So bring your hands back. You're in like a forward fold, and then we just make it into a ragdoll by bending into our knees slightly, maybe grabbing opposite elbows. Release the neck and swaying side to side. It feels good. Nice, Olivia. So keep challenging yourself to pull your head, the crown of your head, further down to the mat. Great, take a few more breaths. Celebrating those tiny victories or those big victories. Remembering that awareness is a victory in itself. Bring your hands down to the mat. Your feet can stay where they are or come together to touch as we roll up slowly to a standing position. Awesome. We'll find our Samasti Tahi, hands at heart center. Eyes can blink shut or find a soft gaze. And we coming together here today, celebrating our victories, our awareness, our changes, celebrating the awareness of our body as well. We'll breathe that in and send it out our mouths. Beautiful. Now we breathe in and breathe out our noses. Beautiful. From here, we'll come into a tree pose. So however you'd like, you can have your toes on the ground to start 
or bring your foot up into your inner thigh. It can be anywhere to start. We'll do this a little later in class. You get a chance to see the difference that you feel. Palms press together, open the chest. Big toe presses into the ground, grips. Yes, Julie. Press your foot into the thigh and the thigh back into the foot. We'll take two more breaths. One more, inhale. Exhale, bring your foot down, we'll switch sides. Evening ourselves out. Finding a grounding feeling in the tree pose. A rooted feeling. Connected. And grateful our pelvis here has transferred the weight so that we can stand and that the weight goes into our leg. And we're amazing because we're just standing on one of them right now. Engage, pressing your leg into your foot, your foot into your leg. Pull the belly up and in. Two more breaths. Beautiful release. Reach your arms up overhead, extended mountain. Hold and breathe. Press to the feet now, both feet are on the ground. Feel that connection. Squeeze the quads up away from the knees. Wrap the ribs in, inhale. Exhale, forward fold, dive down to the mat. Inhale, halfway lift, bring your back up to flat. Your hands can be on the mat, your shins or thighs. But shimmy your tailbone back as you breathe. The crown of your head goes forward. Flat back like in a tabletop, inhale. Exhale, high plank, plant your palms, step your feet back. Your toes are right underneath your heels. Grip through the fingertips, press them out away, find a little cat in your back, cat pose, I mean. All right, shift forward and then back. We're gonna do a couple of these. Shift forward and back, okay? In a moment, we'll go through a chaturanga. You can either do a full chaturanga, yogi push-up, or on your knees, all right? So whenever you feel ready, you shift forward, lower halfway down, keep your shoulder tips in line with your elbows. Upward facing dog or cobra pose, lift your heart up. Downward facing dog, push back. Yes, awesome. All right, beautiful. We'll go through that breath to movement. We'll take out the tree pose and leave in our samasi tihi. I'll guide you through it. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, forward fold. Step to the top. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, extended mountain. Arms reach up, get long to the sides of your body. Exhale, samasitahi, palms press together. Inhale, extended mountain. Arms come wide, reach up. Maybe the palms touch overhead. Exhale, forward fold. Swan dive down. Yes, gorgeous. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, high to low plank. Take it as you need. Upward facing dog. Something that opens your chest here. Either that or cobra. And downward facing dog. One more time through. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, forward fold, step to the top. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, extended mountain, burst open. Exhale, samasitahi, settle your hands at your heart. Inhale, extended mountain. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, high to low plank. Yes. Nice job. Good. Yes, Nikki. You got it. All right. Moving on to our sunbi. Let's take an open mouth breath together. Breathe in. Breathe out. 
Ujjayi breath in and out. Reach your right leg high on an inhale. Hold it here. Lift your heel up towards the sky. Yeah. Nice. Bend your knee. Open your hip now. Roll your knee around. And feel the different movements of your hip. And we're just being nice and careful and loving towards it. It provides us with mobility and stability, which is a beautiful thing. We'll reach our right leg back up high and come through a low lunge. Knee comes towards our nose, step our foot down. Back knee goes down, Bring your um, untuck your back toes, bring your hands to your front thigh. Okay, kneeling crescent prep, okay? So here, we'll uh, send our heel, our front heel a little bit forward and then dig that heel into the mat as we try to pull it back, right, isometrically. So without actually moving, we're trying to pull it back here. Right. And then we can feel, as we move back and forth a little bit, we can feel our hip region, our hip flexors opening up. Okay, moving slightly back and forth. If you have a knee issue, then bend your mat a little bit so to give you some cushion. Nice. Oh, good. All right, come to stillness here. Reach your arms up overhead. This is the full kneeling crescent. Option to bring your hands, your palms together overhead as you lean a little back into a bit of a back bend. If you're doing that, make sure you have your core pulled in to support you. Okay, we'll take one more breath, inhale. Exhale, low lunge, plant your palms, tuck your back toes, lift your back knee away from the mat. Come up onto your fingertips, scoop your belly in. Inhale, crescent lunge, reach your hands up overhead. Yeah. Yes, Olivia. Amazing. Dig into the front big toe, sink into the front knee. Press through the back toes. Your back heel is lifted up above your back toes. Listen here, a little bit of a different movement. Inhale. Exhale, chair plane. Step your back foot forward as you sweep your arms back behind you. Yeah. Nice. If this feels uncomfortable for right now, bring your hands to heart center. Okay. So we sink into our heels, send our hips back, palms face down. Pull the pinkies towards each other and up. Yes, you've got it. We'll hold it here for four. We're gonna do a one leg mountain in three. Your left knee lifts up in two and one. Left knee lifts up as your hands either come up above you or to heart center. Yeah, gorgeous. Back to standing on one leg. We are just amazing, aren't we? Settle, we pull up from the pelvic floor, okay? Lift up the whole bottom region, zips up. Okay. All right, inhale. Exhale, figure four, cross your left leg over your right as you sink the hips back. Yeah, option to hold on to a wall if you have one nearby. Or to take a little break in between. Flex that lifted foot. Feel that whole region stretching, strengthening. Inhale, one leg mountain, come back up. Exhale, crescent plane. Sweep that left leg back as your arms go back behind you. Nice, we'll hold this for just a few breaths. Chair plane arms, right, lifting towards each other, the pinkies lifting towards each other into the sky. Beautiful, inhale, warrior two. Spin open, hold and breathe. All right, so we're facing the side. We're getting as much length as we can through our legs. Yes, Michelle. And then we engage our legs by pressing down through our feet, Pulling in, 
as if we have magnets, the insides of our legs. We bring to mind our intention as we gaze forward, celebrating awareness and change. Beautiful. Inhale, straighten your front leg. Exhale, triangle, shift your front arm forward and down and your back arm comes up. If you do have the blocks nearby, this will feel really good if you place a block underneath your right hand. <clears throat> nice. Nice, Julie. Yeah, it looks really good. Hey, Hunter. <laughs> All right. Lift up from your obliques, leading with your top hand up towards the sky. Inhale. Exhale, high to low plank, plant your palms and flow through. Option for the knees, option for just a high plank. Upward facing dog. Yes, Olivia, so good. Yes, Michelle. Nice, downward facing dog. All right, going to the other side, left leg lifts high. We hold here for a moment as we feel the length and strength of that lifted leg. And then bend your knee, open up your hip. We explore through our hip, rolling it around a bit, bringing gratitude to mind for that mobility and for the stability. You can also give a little love to the ankle here, roll it around. Make sure you're pressing evenly into both palms. Now lift that leg up high, inhale, exhale, low lunge, step that foot through. Nice. Come down onto your back knee, untuck your toes, bring your hands to your front thigh. Nice. And we just explore here. A lot of yoga is just the exploration of how we feel in different poses, in different, with different breaths, with different situations. So we just explore, how does this feel? The idea being getting more in touch with your body through your breath. Getting more out of your mind and just into your intuition. Yellow hip flexors. Cool. Inhale. Kneeling crescent. Bring your arms up overhead. Option to work for a little bit of a back bend. Lifting up. Using the core. Let's take a breath. Breath out. We'll come to a low lunge. Plant your palms. Tuck those back toes. Yes. Nice. Okay. Come on to your fingertips. Press down firmly through your feet. Inhale, crescent lunge. Hands come up overhead. Nice. Squeeze your right glute. Send the hips forward so they should be in line with each other, not one off to the side. Nice. Yeah. Maria and Melissa are looking at the beautiful beach landscape that they have right now. Olivia, you missed that. Maria's at the beach. She's in Florida. So awesome. All right, different movement. Coming to that chair plane. Inhale. Exhale, chair plane. Step your back foot forward. Arms swing back behind you. Remember, you can have your hands at heart center. Sink back into the heels. Squeeze the inner thighs together like you have a block there. Adduction. Yes. You got it, Nikki. You got it, Michelle. All right. Press through the left foot. Inhale, one leg mountain. Right knee comes up in line with your hip. We hold here and breathe. Beautiful. Challenge yourself. The knee is right in line with the hip. The ankle is right underneath the knee. Yes, Julie. Julie's back, everybody. 
Grip through the toes, squeeze through the standing quad, inhale. Exhale, figure four. Hands to heart center, sink it back. Feeling free to hold on to something. Bringing the intention inwards, everything inward. Find the breath, find the focus. Beautiful, inhale, one leg mountain, lift back up. Exhale, crescent plane, sweep everything back behind you. You land your back toes, arms are fl flying behind you. Crown of the head pulls forward. All right, we've got it. Let's do it for four. Open to a warrior two in three, two, and one. Warrior two, open up. Nice. Take your time getting into it. It's not about how you look, it's about how you feel in the pose. We celebrate any kind of victory. Because every time we step on the mat, we know a little bit more. Oof. Inhale, straighten that front leg. That feels good. Exhale, triangle pose. Shift forward and then down. Maybe you have a block on your hand. If you don't have a block, then press the back of your hand into your left leg as you feel your chest open. Magnets again on the inner thighs, pulling together. Obliques lifting away. Gorgeous. Olivia, that is gorgeous. Good. We'll take an inhale. Exhale, high to low plank, plant your palms and flow through. Lift up, upward facing dog, stretch, and downward facing dog, hips up high, beautiful. All right, we'll go through that. One time breaths and movement. If you do wanna take, well, let's, let's get a little water or you can just hold for a few breaths here. So everyone knows I like to give a little quick water break at this point. And Julie, I have some tea today, I thought of you. And I was making it, I was like, Julie. All right, coming back in four, three, two, and one. Downward facing dog, connecting back together with our ujjayi breath, breathe in, breathe out. Going breath to movement, so a little bit faster. We've got it. Inhale, right leg lifts up high. Exhale, low lunge, step your foot through. Inhale, kneeling crescent. Keep your back toes tucked. Reach your hands up straight up overhead this time. Just hold here for a breath. From here, you can either lift straight up to crescent lunge or bring your hands down and then step up. We'll meet in a crescent lunge. Yes, so good, inhale. Exhale, chair plane, step that back foot forward, sweep your arms back. Inhale, one leg mountain, left knee up in line with your hip. Exhale, figure four. Inhale, one leg mountain, left knee up. That's Michelle, exhale, crescent plane. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, triangle, straight in the front leg, shift forward. Inhale, exhale, high to low plank, plant and flow. This is your vinyasa. And it's not just a torture device. <laughs> it's about that routine, that rising and falling. We've got the other side, left leg lifts, low lunge, kneeling crescent with the back toes tucked. Exhale. Take it either, step your hands down or lift yourself up, crescent lunge, inhale. Exhale, chair plane. Beautiful, Olivia, nice transition, inhale. One leg mountain, right knee is up. Exhale, figure four. 
Inhale, one leg mountain. Exhale, crescent plane. Inhale, warrior two, spin open. Exhale, triangle. Inhale here. Exhale, high to low plank. Rise and fall like waves, moving through things, coming back to center, starting over again. Beautiful. All right, this time we're gonna add some things on. If you like a block for half moon, then place the block at the top of your mat. And we'll go, all right. Right leg lifts high, inhale. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, kneeling crescent, back toes stay tucked. Exhale. Inhale, crescent lunge, lift up. Exhale, chair plane, step forward. Inhale, one leg mountain, left knee is up. Exhale, figure four. Beautiful. Inhale, one leg mountain. Exhale, crescent plane. Inhale, warrior two. Here's where the add-ons are. <laughs> Exhale, half moon. Bring your front arm forward, reaching maybe for the block at the top of your mat, and lift your back leg up, your left leg up. Yes. Oh, yes. So good. Nice job. Okay. The bottom toes stay pointed forward. Back foot. See how it feels. You can flex it or point it. See what feels better. You got to pull up from your abductors. Pull up the outside of your leg. Hold it for four. Standing split in three. Both hands down to the mat in two and one. Both hands come down to the mat. You can keep your block there if you'd like and kind of bring your hands to your block or you can just have your hands on the mat. Okay. From here, you can stay here in a standing split or follow me through with some Shiva squats. For a Shiva squat, we'll inhale, lift that top leg and exhale, bring the, the knee of the top leg behind the right knee. Inhale, lift it back up. Exhale, squat it down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, squat. We'll take two more. Inhale. Exhale. One more. Inhale. Exhale. Lift that leg back up. Step the foot back. We'll open to a wide leg forward fold. So send your toes to face the long edge of the mat and bring your hands to the center. Yes, awesome. Looks good. Getting our feet as wide as we'd like, pressing into the outside edges of the feet, and there's a ton of options. I won't run through all of them, but just know that there are and that you should go towards what your body is feeling if it wants the sways. Side to side, the outstretched arms, arms around the ankles. Nice option, Julie. Yeah, I love that twist. And if you'll feel the whole back line of your body, feel that. Remember, it's really all connected. Though we look at them separately, it's really all connected. Bring your hands underneath your shoulders. Find a halfway lift, a long spine. Inhale. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, three leg dog. Lift that leg up high. Exhale, downward facing dog. Option if you are a big chaturanga person and you want to flow through it, you know you can always do that. All right, let's take a breath together as we wait for people who chose that option. Inhale. Exhale. Ujjayi breath. Inhale. Exhale. To the other side, left leg up. Low lunge. 
kneeling crescent. Keep the back toes tucked. Breathe here. Lift yourself up, crescent lunge. When you're ready, maybe your hands come forward. Breathe, inhale. Exhale, chair plane. Inhale, one leg mountain. Our right knee comes up. Exhale, figure four. Beautiful. Inhale, one leg mountain. Exhale, crescent plane. Inhale, warrior two. Beautiful. Exhale, half moon. And it goes into the front foot. So good. Yes. Yes, Maria. Yes, Melissa. Pull up. We hold it for four. Play around with pointing and flexing for three. Standing split in two. And one standing split. Both hands come down to the mat. Remember, you can make this a little more restorative or go with me with Shiva squats. If you're following me, let's start here. Inhale. Exhale, squat. Inhale. Exhale. Top knee goes behind the bottom knee. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Two more. Inhale. Exhale. One more. Lift up. Inhale. Exhale. We come back, lift the leg, step that top leg back, and open into our wide leg forward fold. Nice. If you want to do anything with your arms here, like a chest expansion grip, that might feel good. Perhaps a skandasana to either side, bending into one knee as you extend through the other leg. Well, hands come underneath your shoulders, halfway lift, inhale, exhale, low lunge, walk forward, inhale, three leg dog, lift that leg up high, exhale, downward facing dog, option for a vinyasa. Whenever you're done with whatever you're doing, we come down onto our knees and have a seat, have some water. Everybody's doing an amazing job. Always so proud. Let's find a seated position. We'll find, um, you can always just find a Sukhasana if you like, but let's try some cow face legs. This will help to open up our hips a little bit, um, a little more. So you'll bring, you'll bend one knee and bring your ankle towards your glute and then send your other leg over top. Okay. And here we can send the legs out a little, the ankles, the feet out a little wide and try to stack our knees on top of each other, okay? It's a lot, so give yourself some grace here and some space, literally maybe just negotiating for space for how it feels good. If it's super uncomfortable, just sit in a Sukhasana, okay? From here, you can sit up tall. You could walk your hands forward if that felt good. You could also do the arms, cow face arms. You'd bring your top hand up your bottom hand back and just try to connect. And if not, just connect your t-shirt. Let's hang here for five breaths. Beautiful. We'll unwind. Shake it out in the center a little bit. And then go to the other side. When we think about this region of our body, it's such a complicated region. It's a very interesting shaped bone, right? And it's very large. It's the heaviest part of our body. 
So there's a lot going on, which means we have to give it a lot of grace and love for all that it does for us. It holds some organs, our intestines. Oh, three more breaths. Beautiful. Let's unwind. We'll send our legs into a wide leg position for a wide leg seated forward fold. So send your legs out wide. Sit up nice and tall and send your sit bones, sits bones, your butt bones down into the earth. We'll lift our hands up overhead. Inhale. Exhale. Forward fold. You can either go straight down to the middle or you can reach for your legs. You can also alternate out as you go. Wherever you are, just try to get a little, see what a little bit deeper feels like. Just to kind of push that a little bit. We're not trying to overdo it, but challenging ourselves in these positions. They help us grow stronger, help us respond to challenges on and off the mat. And three more breaths. We'll come up in one more seated position. We'll bring our the bottoms of our feet together into a baddha konasana or diamond or butterfly pose. You control the intensity with where you place your feet. Further away, it's going to be less intense. Closer to your body will be more intense. Grab onto your feet and lift your heart up. Yeah. Nice. Nice, Michelle. And then if you'd like, you can forward fold a little bit and feel more intensity through the groin. We'll hold for about four more breaths. Beautiful job. Stay with your breath. Lift yourself back up gently, shake your legs out, and let's come onto our backs. We're going to start with a bridge pose. We'll bring our arms long by our side, our ankles are right underneath our knees. Inhale, lift your hips up high, and exhale here as you then breathe on your own. If possible, come up onto your shoulders so that your chest lifts up and maybe get a boxy grip under your low back. If that's not possible, then just keep your hands long by your side. Maybe bring your hands up like robot arms by your side. Think of lifting your chest back and your chin comes away from your chest to lengthen through your neck. Beautiful. Squeeze those inner thighs together. Stay up here for four. Release in three, two, and one. Release down to your mat. Supta Baddha Konasana. Same position we were just in, but we're laying down now. Okay? Soles of your feet together to touch. Maybe a hand to your heart, a hand to the belly. You can feel, if you bring your hands down a little bit, you can feel the um, top of the hip bone 
it's called this region is called the ilium this is the, the yeah the ilium part of that you can just feel it just knowing that when we say our hips there's lots of different parts we could be referencing and just understanding that and being patient as we feel those tweaks and things within the body now let's close our knees together we'll rock ourselves up to a seated position we're going to go through one more short standing series before bringing it down okay so you can grab a little water if you'd like and then we'll do a short standing series ending with a half pigeon on each side we come to our downward facing dog. This is our final push, our asana work, our pose work. In our downward facing dog, let's find our ujjayi breath. Breathe in, breathe out. Gather the strength, you've got it. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, eagle on the right. Wrap your right arm under your left arm. You can bring your palms together or give yourself a big bear hug. Bring your right leg over your left and then sink back into your hips. Squeeze everything together. We're gonna take four breaths here. Two more. Nice, we'll come up to a tree pose. You can either keep your hands where they are as you lift your right knee up, or you can unwind your hands and find a new grip. We're back, wait, why am I, I'm, I said tree and I'm in one leg mountain. Hello. All right, so this is where we can compare from the beginning to now. Thanks, Olivia. Yeah. Three more breaths. Nice, come to that one leg mountain. And then step back, we're going right to a low lunge. Lunch. Left leg lifts up high, three leg dog, and half pigeon. Pull your knee in towards your wrist. Send the back leg back. Untuck that back toes. Make sure the toes are pointing straight to the back of the room. Come up high onto your fingertips. You can stay right here or walk your hands forward into a sleeping pigeon. Any kind of discomfort here, go on your back. I'll show you what that would look like if you need it. I'll hang here for about eight breaths. We did come down. We'll come back up onto our palms. Tuck the back toes. Fly that leg up high. And then maybe bending the knee, opening the hip again, perhaps going into a flip dog. Settling back into a downward facing dog. Awesome, looks like we're there. Okay, other side with our short standing series. Inhale, look forward. 
Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, eagle on the left. Left arm under your right. Left leg over your right leg. Yeah. So good. Maybe you can bind that, that foot around the ankle. Squeeze it in. Palms pressed together, elbows in line with the shoulders. Find your intention. Celebrate every step of awareness and change. All right, two more breaths. And we'll lift up, we'll find our tree pose. Always feel free to play around with the arm variations. Lift it up above your head, behind your back, down by your side. Nice, pull your the outer area of your right, of your standing leg, pull it in. Pelvic floor, zipping all the way up to the belly button. Let's take three more breaths. So strong. Beautiful, come through center, one leg mountain, low lunge, step it back. Right leg flies up high, half pigeon. Other side, maybe you go into supine figure four. And tuck the toes, make sure they're pointing straight to the back of the room. Lift up, heart lifts, and then maybe lower. Staying lifted is also fine. Coming back up onto the palms. Tuck in the back toes, flying the leg high. Maybe moving around through that leg, that hip. Making our way back to our downward facing dog. We come down onto our knees, get anything we'd like for our surrender series, a sweatshirt, turning the lights low, water, etc., and we'll meet on our backs. Coming onto our backs. We have about five minutes left, and I do like to always give the option to go straight into your Shavasana. I'll give a couple of other options. If you're craving a little more movement than a happy baby, grabbing onto either behind your knees, your ankles, your toes, and opening your knees wide. Just try to keep your low back down into the mat. instead of like being totally lifted, you wanna have that low back down. Other options are twists to the left and the right. 
just making sure that you do both sides. And I'll leave you to your surrender, ending in a final resting pose of your choice at the time that you're ready for it. Understanding that the purpose of the poses is to bring you to a space of tiredness so that we can be quiet in our mind for this Shavasana, for this starting point of meditation. And to experience any of that throughout our day is very powerful. Enjoy your final resting pose and I'll bring you back when it's time. Knowing you can stay here in this space and let the class end around you. If you do want to move on with your Sunday, you're welcome. Tiny movements to your body, gently waking it back up from its meditative state. Heading to one final pose for yourself. Maybe it's a fetal pose curled up in a little ball. Or anything else you'd like. And just solidify one last time the intention that you're now taking from the mat off of the mat. Celebrating our awareness and our change no matter how big or small. From that position, we'll come up to an easy seat to kasana, the same way that we started class. You can have a closed eyes or a nice soft gaze. You can end your class any way that you'd like. If you'd like to follow me, we'll bring our hands through heart center. Breathe out the air in our lungs. Breathe in and breathe out. Hands up to the space between your brows, your seat of intuition. I honor the light, love, teacher and student in each of you as it is also within me. In sharing these things, we are one. Together we bow forward. Namaste. Namaste. Thank you so much, everybody.
so good to have you as always.